Hey everyone, Derek here from Bomb Socks with more Bomb Bites, where we feast upon the words of Christ, and as always, we do it one bite at a time. So in the Come Follow Me manual, I want to finish up this week with actually the very first phrase that it says in the Come Follow Me manual. It says, the Lord can be with me in my everyday life. Now it says the instructions in Doctrine and Covenants 94 and 97 were given on the same day. This is August 2nd of 1833 as they're doing their best to start that building of the temple. 97 deals in part with the temple plan in Jackson County, Missouri, while section 94 deals with the administrative buildings in Kirtland, Ohio. You might notice some similarities and what the Lord says about the different kinds of buildings, which we talked about that in that first episode. As you ponder these instructions, consider what you can do to experience the Lord's glory and presence more often, both inside church buildings and in your everyday life. And so let me show you kind of what the Kirtland Temple probably looked like. Here's some some generic temple plans right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a couple verses. I'm going to give you sections 95, which again, this is all part of this process, 95, 11 to 13, and then 97, 10 through 17. Okay. And what I'd like you to do is you're reading these verses, replace the word house or temple with life. All right. Because we've got to apply these. We've got to make these a part of our lives. So as you're reading through these, what principles can we learn in these verses to help us build a better life? So I just want to pause here for a second on this, let you take a couple minutes and study through this using again the word life to replace house or temple. And I want you to see what you can come up with. So do that and we'll come right back and we'll talk about a couple of them. Okay, so maybe you saw some interesting ones. Uh, here's a couple in section 97 that I thought were very interesting when you put the word life into there. Uh, look at verse 12, for example. Uh, this is the tithing. Now, it talks about the building of temples is, is from the tithing of the people back then. This is the tithing and the sacrifice which I, the Lord, require at their hands, that there may be a life built unto me for the salvation of Zion. That's a cool little statement. Go to verse 15. Inasmuch as my people built a life unto me in the name of the Lord and do do not suffer any unclean thing to come unto it, that it be not defiled. My glory shall rest upon it. Verse 17, but if it be defiled, I will not come unto it. My glory shall not be there, for I will not come into unholy lives, right? The Lord has got to be invited into our lives. He's always going to be there. He's there to knock, but we've got to invite him in. And sometimes that unholiness uh, can be the thing that keeps him from our life. So I want to show you an example of a young woman who I really believe uh, took this idea of building a life unto me uh, the way it should be. So this is just kind of a cool little example and I love this. So watch this.
I love the peace that you could see with that young woman, despite the craziness that is going on around our world. Here's a girl who's trying to build a life unto God. And I really love that as she's putting the temple as something that is very important to her at the center of her life. Just like the Lord has been trying to teach the saints to do that. Yes, he will chasten us. Yes, he will subdue us. But in the process, it is his goal and it should be our goal to become like him. Uh, and you see the light that that girl has. Uh, she's put the temple at the center of her life. Cool quote here. The temple is the great symbol of our membership. If we can pattern our life after the master and take his teaching and example as the supreme pattern, there's that word again, for our own, we will not find it difficult to be temple worthy. So I hope that message helps you out and kind of is a nice little conclusion to this week as we've studied about, you know, the building of the Kirtland Temple, the, the buildings there, talking about Jackson County, Missouri Temple, the building of Zion. Uh, I love this. Great sections. Hope you learned some good things. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for checking out our amazingly comfortable gospel theme socks at bombsocks.com. Your life will never be the same. Thanks, guys. Have an amazing week and we'll see you next time. Godspeed. Bye-bye.